What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here from LBG Games, and a lot of people have been asking me to do some Let's Play Minecraft series, uh, so you know, I can't promise you how many you know how many episodes are going to come out or how often they're going to come out, um, but you know, I thought I'd do a little something, you know, maybe if I'm making something, let you go through what I'm making or tell you how to build something. Uh, so, you know, in this series, uh, or this episode at least, I'm going to kind of, I've got a zombie trap type thing where, you know, zombies fall down and all their items just flow into my house. So I'm just going to, I don't even know where I'm at in the world right now. Okay, uh, it's perfect. I'm up here. Uh, so I'm going to make, I'm going to kind of show you how to make a little zombie trap thing. And that's exactly what I'm doing currently. Uh, so I've actually got it all finished, really. So I can go ahead and show you guys what you have to do, really. Uh, this cloud will get out of the way. Um, but anyway, what you're going to do to start off is you're going to make, you know, two, you're going to make two wide, a two wide canal. It really, um, you know, water flows about, I think eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 is about where you, what you want. And I've got ladders so I can get out because if I fall in here or whatever, um, and I don't have them all with me cause I can't carry them all, but Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to put signs on all these, and I'll explain that later. Uh, so right now, you know, you're going to make four different canals. Uh, you're going to make four, you know, different lanes that lead to the middle. And you can see this is the second floor. I've already got one floor built right below me. And um, all of this, you just kind of fill in. I, just to save to save uh, cobblestone, I left, like, the these blocks empty and just, you know, filled up this one space and just, I put lights down there. So, you know, spiders or anything like that couldn't spawn to where you could lose, uh, to where you could lose monsters or whatever. Uh, so, you know, I made, I made sure to put lights there so nothing could spawn down there. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, you know, basically all you have to do. It's pretty, whoops, it's pretty simple. Um, okay. There we go. Um, I might, I don't, I don't need too much more cobblestone. I'm going to go ahead and go down and get, um, I'm going to go ahead and go down and get some signs and some water. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it really is simple for a lot of people. I think a lot of people find it difficult. It's really not that difficult. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, there's nothing complicated about it or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and where is my, I'm trying to find my ladder that I had. I built a, I built a ladder area up here so I can climb. There it is. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna drop right here. I'm on peaceful, so it doesn't really matter if I get hurt, I guess. Um, there we go. It's a lot of ladders. As you can see, basically they're gonna fall out of that middle, and they're gonna they're gonna land right there. And the water, you know, they're not gonna fight the current, so they're just gonna follow the current. And you know, if they don't die, I've got a little lava trap right here, and I, I can I can show you guys that in a little bit. But yeah, so and then they'll all you see this whole area, they'll drop there, and they all flow. They'll die. Uh, and if they don't die from the initial fall, then they'll die from the lava trap, and they'll all flow down to my house. And I actually did not originally make this. I didn't. I didn't really know how to make it. So um, a friend of mine actually made this originally. But now I know how to make it, so I can kind of show you guys a little bit of what to do. It's not that. It's not too difficult. So if you don't know how to do it, then uh, you know. I hope this helps you out a little bit. But yeah, this is my house area. I've already made a video kind of showing you around my house. So. If you've watched that, you've already seen all this. I don't know why I've got so much sugar cane over there. I just thought it looked cool, so I just kept building it. Uh, it's really why, honestly. But anyway, yeah, I've got this area right here, and they spawn. The items will spawn there. I'm on peaceful right now, obviously, but the items will spawn there, and then I can just pick them up and just unload it right here. And there's my water. You need to go ahead and get that. Just go ahead and get four buckets. Um, I'll go and put my ladders up, and then I've got you know like three chests full of signs because you need a lot of signs to do this. So. Wooden planks are important. Uh, I don't really care where I drop these off at. Oh, there we go. Um, so, yeah, you can tell I have a lot of signs. So, we're going to go ahead and just stack up just about all the way. I don't really need black wool. And I'm going to get uh, some more cobblestone if I have any. I don't want to use stone because I like it. Um... I've got all my stuff, like, my stuff is not organized at all right now. It's all just kind of all over the place at the moment, so I need to I need to organize it because right now it's just not organized at all. Um, let's see. I probably have some down in my house, but I hate to waste all that time going down there. So we're just going to, we're just going to go ahead. We don't really have to have all, we don't really have to have all the cobblestone right now. So we're going to go ahead and just go back up there, I guess. 
But uh, guys, in the comments, let me know what other stuff you guys want me to make because you know if I'm if I'm gonna do a let's play series, you know I need to know some stuff that I can do to make and everything. Um, so leave leave some comments with suggestions of what I should do next. Uh, you know, not even not even just about Minecraft really, but just comments about uh, just different games that you think I should make videos for and all that. And I'll be sure to try to get around to doing that. So just you know leave a comment, let me know what you guys want me to do, and I'll be sure to try to get around to doing it. Um, so I hope this guy, if this, if this is helping at all, or if this is any <laughs> helpful, any, any at all, uh, yeah, uh, just leave a comment down below, let me know, uh, and also, you know, be sure to like and favorite the video, um, and also, if you're not already subscribed to my main channel, for the people that are just subscribed to this channel, uh, I, I don't think there's anybody that's just subscribed to this channel, to be honest, but if you are, uh, go check out my main channel, Laidback Gaming, there's gonna be a link in the description, if you go check that channel out, that's where I do all the main stuff, you know, like, uh, Halo and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows uh, all about my main channel. Um, but we'll go ahead and, you know what we need to do is make source water. So, um, yeah, we'll just make it with some cobblestone. Oh, stupid clouds. This is the only negative thing about being so high up. You can't see anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, there we go. Let's make some source water. Basically, if you don't know what source, it's how to make source water, you just put two blocks together and you can make, uh, you put water on each end and then it turns into source water. So it's pretty helpful. You can just fill your bucket up with all the water, which it did not work. Um, stupid cloud would get out of the way. Um, we're just going to go ahead and, we're just going to go ahead and put some signs up. So you're going to drop back here and you're going to leave this area open uh, for right now. And you're gonna, what you're actually gonna take it back, you're gonna put signs on each side, um, on the very top. And you do this because, uh, the, you know, the zombies are gonna spawn up here in this area. Um, so they're gonna be walking around, and for them, you know, this, you know, you can tell this takes up a whole block area. So for them, for some reason, they think, you know, they're walking on a block. So they're just gonna walk across it like nothing, and then they're just gonna fall, obviously, because there's nothing there and so that's why that's why you put all the signs up here and yes you need a ton of signs there's you need a lot there's a lot of signs uh i i don't even know how many i'm going to use so uh we'll just make i'm just going to make one row just to kind of uh tell you show you how to make it and uh, after that i'll th jump on easy and kind of show you what you know what this does and it's really helpful guys if you're if you're looking for like infinite supply of like arrows and all that stuff then this is what you this is the best way to to get that unlimited supply uh, of arrows and strings and all that stuff so because zombies are constantly spawning everything spawning on this thing uh, spiders cro uh, spiders creepers zombies you know just everything uh, you can think of skeletons so it's really convenient, especially like I said, if you're if you're looking to get unlimited supplies of, of certain objects. Uh, we'll go ahead and I gotta make some source water. Uh, so as you can tell, you know I'm already almost out. So it takes a lot of, it really does take a lot of. Um, it really does take a lot of uh, signs. So a lot of wooden planks. Um, and yes, the source water's not working. That sucks. I don't have to go back down there, but I think I might have to. All right. Well, I'm just gonna have to jump down for a second. Uh, that kind of sucks. It's kind of inconvenient, but whatever. I'll do it. Um, so I need water. Uh, I'll just cut this off, guys. I'll cut this whole part off, and then I'll just come back when I'm done getting my water so I don't have to waste you guys', you guys time. All right, guys. So I'm back up here. You know, I got my source water. I had to get four buckets and make, you know, four, a big square. And, you know, just basically you put the water on each end if you don't know how to make source water. And then it's, you know, just always there until you obviously take it out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fill this up right here. You're going to put one on this side, and then you're going to put another one on that side, and that's going to flow all the way right here. And then you're going to, well, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and fill up all the signs. Like I said, again, it takes a lot of signs. You know, I've emptied out half the chest already just for this one row. Uh, so you're going to use a lot of wood. So go ahead, and if you're, if you're planning on making this, uh, go ahead and stock up on a lot of wood because you're going to need it, all of it. <laughs> um, I can't remember how many stacks of, whoops. I can't remember how many stacks of wood I went through uh, doing this, but it was it was ridiculous. I didn't I wasn't expecting it to take to take, you know, to be so so much wood, uh, but it really is. So, and then here, uh, I'm gonna have to you know remember what I'm what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I think 
you know what I'm gonna go down here and just kind of show you guys an example so this is the whole this is the whole deal down here obviously uh, it's you know you're gonna make it dark so that during the day you're gonna get zombies and obviously it's light right now this area because I've got that big gap in the opening up there uh, so yes once you get here to this area up, up when I'm up there you know in this same area the water stops you put two signs here so you can put water here that flows that way and not both directions and it doesn't really matter there's a gap here because they're gonna move and since the zombies can't move you know back they're just gonna go this way and then they're just gonna follow the current because they can't do anything else uh, so that's just how it is for the zombies uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know what I'm gonna just drop hopefully I don't die but I think it'd be kind of funny if I did uh, I'll get all my items back either way yeah okay well <laughs> whatever <laughs> crap I should have done that but ah uh, oh well I kind of that was retarded um, but yeah here's my house if you haven't already seen it so you know there you go I've got this cool little waterfall that flows down into it which is pretty cool I don't have a minecart are you kidding me oh my gosh okay well I'm gonna be walking up to go get my items which is not a big deal uh, this this is the I have a cart system that goes down all the way down here from my main portion of my house and then it also goes to another part of the map that has another big cave that I really haven't explored much. You know, mainly I just use this cave down here. And I've actually found, you know, almost two stacks of diamonds just in this one big cave. It's a huge cave system. Um, so, yeah, so that's my whole cave system down there. And we're going to have to go, going to have to go get those items again. I shouldn't have done that. That was really stupid. But now, okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, dang it. So I guess I can kind of display what happens now. I'm not going to wait for him because I want to go ahead and get back up there. So uh, I'll just go ahead and go find him. But anyway, I died and, you know, sure enough, there's all my items. So they're going to die there, the zombies, and then they're all just going to float out of my house. They last five minutes, so it's not like you're going to lose them unless, you know, you're gone for a long time. You're going to get all the items back. Um, so since we're, I guess, at the house already, I'll go ahead and I guess I can go ahead and stack up on some more signs because I'm going to need some more. So I'll go ahead and get those. And uh, I've got my little secret room in here, which uh, I can't let you see that because there's special stuff in there. <laughs> and I have, uh, I have a lot of wheat here that I just haven't really watched much at all. So that's just kind of dying. And as you can see, I'm already running low on signs and I've still got, you know, a lot, a lot more to do with... Uh, you know three more rows and to finish this one off so we'll go back up there oh yeah also if you haven't already I'm gonna I guess I'll do some episodes for it but this is gonna be my soccer field over here uh, it's the pitch it looks nice I'll let you I'll let you see it when I get up here it looks pretty sweet so far I haven't you know obviously the stadium hadn't really been built built yet I just kind of uh, got the outline of it. I'm not really sure what all I'm going to do for the stadium. You know, I had some plans on making it different colors, uh, like making it, like I'm a Fulham fan for, uh, uh, they play, they're a club in the English Premier League, uh, and, you know, I was going to make it like black and white and stuff and red, uh, but, you know, it was just going to be too hard, so I just decided I'd just, you know, go with your generic stone, uh, which is gray, so I, I'm probably just going to do the whole stadium like that. I might change the colors a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Obviously, it's going to be a while before it's actually finished, but at the moment, that's what it looks like. I've got, you know, the two benches right there with glass. So it's, it's, I think it's looking pretty good so far. And I think it'll look really sweet when it's done. I'll be sure to make a video whenever I do finish it. I, I haven't been, you know, playing Minecraft much recently. So it's been, you know, kind of, it's been kind of slow making it and everything. But, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be sure to make a video, though, when I do finish it. So we're going to go ahead and put signs right here. And uh, again, for the people wondering, you put the signs up here because the zombies, you know, I don't know why, but they, they really do think it's like a block and they just walk over it without even thinking. Um, so it's, I, made, I made, I've, might have made that a little bit. Yeah, I need to back that up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you need to back this up to where the water's not running off the edge just to be sure they do fall. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh crap, I should have, whoops. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put your signs right here. And then put your other sign. Go ahead and delete this one. Put the other sign right here. And then we're going to have the water flow from right here. 
and right here. And that way it'll stop right at this very uh, edge right here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up, get out of here. Uh, let's put the buckets up. I hope I'm not boring you because, you know, I'm kind of not, I'm really more focused on building this than I am really talking. Uh, so I hope this, you know, whole commentary does not bore you or anything. Uh, but I also hope it helps for the people that are wondering how to do this. I don't play Minecraft often, but I learned how to do this from a friend, so I think it's pretty sweet as well. Um, and yeah, so we're just about done really with the first uh, canal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all these. I'll just, I was just kind of showing you. I'm gonna show you, you know, how to build it. Obviously, that's what I'm doing right now. And then right after this, I'll jump on easy and kind of show you how it works. I'm not gonna roof in the whole thing yet. I'll, I'll finish this layer later. But that's, you know, all you have to do. You have to fill this whole thing up with signs so the zombies think they're blocks. And they'll just walk onto the water. Um, and, uh, you, you know, eventually when I do get done, I'm going to build this, you know, a whole, it'll be like a roof area to where it's all dark in here. It's pitch black. Uh, but for now, that's not how I'm going to do it. But that's how you make, you know, you do every canal like this. And it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it doesn't really matter there's a gap there because they can't go backwards. So they're just going to go with the current and just fall down. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, you know, the whole, that's how you make this. And I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and jump on easy. And I'm going to get down from here because... I don't want to like die or anything or get killed by a creeper or whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump down and go to my house. Or not go to my house. I'll drop, you know, just right down to where the uh, zombies will fall down to. And then I'll jump on easy real fast and let you see what happens. So I'll just come back, right? Uh, I'll come. I'll just, I'll just come back whenever I get down there. All right, guys. So I'm back and I'm playing on easy. It's at night. So there's not going to be as many people, you know, falling down from here as usual. During the day, there's going to be more because it's, you know, fully dark. But they, they just saw a creeper drop. And uh, there's a, you know, my whole soccer field is invested with, infested with a bunch of spiders. Um, but I'll go ahead and get up a little bit closer. The only thing about getting up close is that um, if there's, you know, I don't have it built, like, you know, closed off. So if there's any spiders, they can just crawl up the walls and get you. Um, it, you know, because sometimes, you know, the monsters do not spawn. But there's my lava uh, trap right there. And basically it just, you can see the signs below it to keep the lava up to where the the you know the monsters die but their items just fall down to the lower level to where the lava can you know just like uh, burn it up so that's how this is you know how it works it's really simple but it's you know really effective especially like I said during the night it's not as effective but during the day when you know it's all dark and there's no other zombies spawning anywhere else in the map it's very very useful and you know I, I've gotten you know a lot of objects out of this I haven't had it too long and you know you can just sit there and have have your you know house just completely get all the uh they get all the you know items will just come to your door so you can just have an unlimited supply of bones strings uh gunpowder all that stuff bone uh, i already said bones arrows uh so i hope this video helped you guys and if it did please let me know by leaving a like and a favorite also be sure to comment down below let me know what other types of videos you want me to make and i'll be sure to try to get around to doing that so thanks so much for watching guys and be sure to subscribe